Hello there and hope you're having a great day. I'm Lucy Martin and first of all, thank you so much for watching. Today, what we're going to be talking about is how to set up Lightroom properly. Now a lot of photographers use Lightroom to edit photos, but it's also amazing just to organize all of your files once you learn how to do that right. Now, honestly, when I first started, I did not do this at all. My files were a complete hot mess. Some things saved on a hard drive, some things were saved on computers, and I didn't really understand how the catalog and the collections worked in Lightroom. But if you get started on the right foot, trust me, your life is gonna be so much easier. So let's jump into Lightroom and get going. All right, so now we're in my personal Lightroom catalog. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm actually gonna start a new catalog so you can see how to start fresh. So you go over here, file, new catalog. Now, my number one tip for this is definitely build your photo filing system onto an external hard drive. Lightroom uses raw photos, so it's gonna use up a lot of space. Second thing is actually start a new folder before you save your Lightroom catalog. So I'm gonna start a new folder. Create. And now in this folder, I'm gonna save the actual catalog. Great. So if you're just starting Lightroom, this is what your catalog will look like. Once you've opened it up, there's two modules over here that really is all you need to pay attention to when you're just starting. Library and develop. Library is where you organize your photos and develop is where you edit them. Right now we're gonna focus on the library section because that is where your catalog and all your photos are stored. Over here on this left hand side, you'll see a couple headings. What we're mostly gonna focus on right now is the folder one. So you can go ahead and hit that plus button and add folder. So into this folder, I'm gonna add one called all my photos. Create and great. So now when I click on the folders here, we'll see my external drive I'm using and that new folder I used. The main thing you need to think about is what are the main categories of photos that you take? For me, it's fashion photos, travel photos, and product photos. So I'm gonna actually add those as subfolders. All right, so I have that main folder of all my photos and the subfolders set up there now. You could do this however you like. So maybe you wanna set it up by year or by months. Uh, you could set it up by work stuff and personal stuff, whatever you think. Then you can go over to import. So now we're in the import section. On the left hand side, you can see the different sources that you can input from. So straight from your computer, your hard drives, this could be your SD card. In this instance, I'm just going to use some photos that I've already done before. So I'm going to click on orange fashion, some selects from a fashion photo shoot, click build smart previews. What that will do is help build your previews now so that when you're actually just scrolling through your photos, it doesn't need to, definitely suggest clicking that. And then you're gonna choose your subfolder title name. So I usually like to do the year and the month and the name of what it is. And then you're gonna choose where this is gonna go. Right now, as you can see, it's actually trying to save it in the pictures folder on my computer. I definitely don't want that. So I'm gonna hit that little arrow, go to my external drive that I know I'm using, YouTube tutorial Lightroom, great. All my photos, yes. And now look at these handy little folders I created are right there. So this is from a fashion photo shoot. I'm gonna stick it in there and it comes up right underneath. Bingo, bango, import. So that's great. See my photos are there, my smart previews are built. Perfect, awesome. So now I can go and I can import some other photos. You can go along doing this with all of yours. One thing that I will mention is that up here you can copy photos and so that'll duplicate them into this new location or move them and it will erase them from where they were before. I usually do the move function because I actually want everything to be in these new folders because it's so well organized, but you might want that backup or something like that. So definitely think about that before you pick. I've already edited these photos, but when you're actually doing it, you will probably have hundreds of photos. So if you want to just preview them, you can click this here and you can just kind of scroll through and say, you know what, uh, you know, I don't need that one. Press the X key and it's taken out. If you want, you can press the P key and now it's picked again. So I'm going to import those again. I just go to renaming. Now I get to select where they go and I'm going to select product photography and there it goes in there. So import. 
there you go and that's pretty much it so I can go and see all my photos that I have or I can go into these specific photos and organize them once you build that there'll be tons and tons of folders underneath but this just makes it so easy right from the get-go of importing those photos getting going I can pick another one now and I'm gonna put this in travel photos October Mori build smart previews travel photos there we go and import and now you can see how easy that was and it's gonna be really easy for me in the future to find any photos I need there you go you're all set up in Lightroom now so you can start importing and editing photos knowing that your library is perfectly set up if you like this video click like or subscribe or any of those actions you can take I'm gonna have more videos very soon on actually editing in Lightroom until then peace out <laughs>